Okay, so let's go ahead and continue our discussion about simple linear regression. And this time we're going to talk about some of the requirements that need to be fulfilled for us to like actually um, be able to use the regression analysis. Like, uh, just like with most of our other tests, like we always can do the analysis, but the question is, should we do the analysis? So previously, you know, we had things like sample size that we were looking at, or like with ANOVA testing, we were also checking the variances. Regression analysis has its own set of things that we need to check, and we're going to check them by way of the residual plot. All right, so this is going to be our tool, the residual plot. And this is going to basically plot our errors in a way that we can start looking to see if there are problems with our plot. So a good residual plot is going to look something like this. So there'll be this like zero line right here. And the data points are just, they just kind of look like a cloud. There's no real pattern to them. That is a good residual plot. Now, there are some problems that we can see that I'll try to demonstrate um, so that we can understand what we're looking for in this residual plot. So this would be a good one. Let me show you some things that would be bad. All right, so first thing that we need to look for is that the, our residual plot, um, our data needs to be linear. If our data is linear, we get something like this. So we're looking for linearity. If we don't have linearity, we are going to see a pattern, pattern in residuals. So this is like for a problem. So if we have a problem, we'd see a residual, a pattern in the residuals. We might see something in the residuals that looks like this. If we see this, there's obviously a pattern. It looks like there's some sort of quadratic pattern to our residuals there. If that happens, we have a problem and we need to address it. Uh, so if we have a problem with the linearity, if we see this, that means that our data is not linear and, we've, and we shouldn't do our simple linear regression. So that's number one. Number two, we'll talk about independent. If our, if, our res, if our data is not independent, our residuals will have a problem here and we'll see clumping. Here's what it's going to look like. So our residual plot will be right here and we'll have like a clump here, we'll have a clump there, maybe a few data points, a clump there and a clump there. So if we see this like really distinctive clumping, we've got a problem with like independence in our data. And we, once again, shouldn't do our regression analysis. Okay, let's cover one more and then we'll save the rest for another video. So we've got linearity, we've got independence. Uh, let's talk about it being, so our residuals need to be centered about zero. Residuals centered about zero. All right, so our problem is obviously going to be not centered about zero. So we'll have a residual plot that looks something like this. So we've got a zero line, and the plot might look good, but the data isn't centered about the zero line. If we get this problem, we once again have a problem with our model and we should probably go back and correct it. So these are the kind of the first three things that we're looking about in our residual plots. And we'll cover a little bit more of what we're supposed to do, or supposed to check in our next video.